Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome to Christmas in July. Oh my gosh, we are having such a great time here this week where there is a new Christmas planning video popping up every day, Monday through Friday to give ourselves a heads up on this holiday season. I've been having a great time. I also have a great coffee here. This is a cinnamon sugar cookie coffee. Oh my gosh, delicious. I think I still have cookies on my mind after yesterday's video for sure. But let's talk about today's video. I have my happy planner here and I'm going to be building a planner page to talk about all of the holiday traditions. You know, those things that help bring the magic into the holidays. But you know, behind the magic, there's always a person pulling it all together and that's the thing that we're going to be building today is the page that will help pull all that together. I'm going to be using some stickers from my Etsy shop and I'll be using part of the new Tis the Season collection. I'm in love with this collection. I can't wait to use it. We're also going to pull in some Happy Planner stickers. I brought some Christmas books out here and we can see what we can get ourselves into. Also, just a reminder, we are running a Christmas in July sale on my Etsy shop. 20% off everything in the Christmas category. So I will put a link down below so you can check that out if you like. In the meantime, I'm ready to get these festivities started. So let's get this cinnamon sugar cookie coffee going and get rolling. Cue festive titles. Mm. Holiday traditions, one of my favorite, favorite things for sure, because that's how the magic gets into the holidays, of course. So today we're gonna to be building this page and I'll be using some of the new Tis the Season stickers from my Etsy shop. These are gorgeous. And again, we'll be using some of the Tis the Season script as well. And I have a couple of Happy Planner Christmas books here that we're gonna possibly look into to help with this. Let me move these aside for a second. I'm really excited to get this started. So, um, well, let's start. Let's just start. Let's just do it, right? I want to use these strips here because I love them and I want to see how they work on this full page here. So I'm going to flip this upside down and we're going to set this right up at the top and the edges. So I'm gonna kind of match this edge up first and I'm going just, just shy of the edge, just like so, so I can lay that down right there. Oh yes, look at that. Um, you know, it instantly decorates the page. Look how pretty that is. Love it. Let's put this one at the bottom and uh, that will set us off, right? So I really love the colors in this holly and poinsettias and the berries. They're really pretty. So we're gonna set this right to the side and then go straight across. There we go. Um, gorgeous. So I have my words here, but I'm going to pull in the one I've been using. This is just what the full sheet looks like. I've been having a lot of fun with these words. And I think this is traditions and we're gonna use holiday magic because we're putting the magic in. So before I put that in, I think I wanna put something right up here, such as one of these cute characters. And I really have my eye on this penguin here in the Santa hat. You know, you have to love the penguins, right? You have to love the penguins. So let's put this little guy right up here at the top. And there's kind of a little spot for him. And I think I'm gonna make his hat go up into the greenery kind of just like so oh my gosh look how cute he is yes super cute yes have to love the penguins and now i'm going to set my title kind of in this little area next to him and we're going to use holiday magic because that's what these traditions are all about they're all about the holiday magic and let's kind of put him or this rather right in this area right here so that I have space to put the boxes like over in here. Perfect, excellent. Okay, so how I wanna build this page is I have like five holiday traditions that I wanna note here. And these are the traditions that 
need a little help to happen. So I might need to purchase something ahead of time to make it happen or put something together. So I'm gonna build five spaces for these. I think I wanna use all these pink boxes. Let's see how that goes. Because I'm going to use stickers from the Happy Planner books to help decorate these areas or enhance them, so to speak. So I'm gonna put this down sideways because there's this little space down here and I think that could work out well. I like that, I like that a lot. I'm pulling in some of the solid boxes from the Merry Holiday collection. This is the solid box collection that matches the Tis the Season. And we have Holly Berry is the red, Icing is the pink and Mistletoe is the green. So I'm gonna set these aside. I have some pink boxes here and we'll use those, but I need five. So I think I'm gonna keep all these pink because there will be other colors happening. So let's pull one of these square boxes. Just the word icing makes my mouth water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love it. So let's put this one kind of, um, let's put it over on the edge, just like so. Okay, and let's get this pink box and let's put this box kind of over on this edge right here, just like so. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Let's get another square box for up here at the top. And let's move this one in a touch, maybe like right about here. So when I'm putting these in, I'm keeping in mind that I want some spaces between the boxes, but I want some spaces around the edges of them so that I can enhance them. So we have four, I need a fifth one, which we're gonna put in this area right here. And I think I'm gonna use this box here, but before I do that, I wanna put a box that will help decorate and show what the tradition is. So let me grab one of those Happy Planner books. So the first tradition that I want to put up here is the advent calendar and you know they just don't make an advent calendar sticker and that's why i started having the idea of doing this just enhancing it with the idea or a sense of oh my gosh look at all these stickers don't you just love it and i ran across this sticker here and here let me show you it says ho 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 with a santa but it has all these little squares and it has that sense of an advent calendar right well at least i think so i think it's fun so I'm gonna grab this sticker here and put it straight down. And this came out of the Merry and Bright book. Let's move that aside a second. And let's put this one with this little penguin guy. So let's move his feet up a little bit so he can set right on this box here. And I'm gonna go to the edge so I have room and hopefully get it straight. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I love this. So yeah, advent calendar. Let's get this pink box and see which direction we wanna put this. So I can either go this way or I can go this way. Let's put it up at the top so we can bring more of this up the page. And let's put it in between these and I'll put it kind of right on the edge so they're overlapping so that it fits kind of right with it and you know it belongs. It could work. Let's leave it there for a moment. If we need to move it down, we can because these stickers are repositionable. So that's nice, right? <laughs> so in the same book, I also found a sticker that actually says Advent Calendar. So we're gonna pull this out and fit this with that. And let's find a good spot for it. I could go under here or I could go right here. I kind of like it right here. Okay, oh, I like that. It actually says it's an advent calendar. I'm pulling in some pens right now because I think I wanna write in these as I go. It'll help me out and make more sense. So advent calendars are a lot of fun. Love counting down the days. Definitely something that we can look into early and pick them up early enough. At least some of them, at least the kind that I'm looking at. And I'm looking at one in particular. So Rod and I, 
We love board games and we also love escape rooms. And I found a company that makes uh, escape room games to play, but they also have an advent calendar and it's called um, Exit. You can find these on Amazon, um, but you can also go to their straight to their website. They have three available right now, but they have a fourth one that's coming out sometime in August. So the three they have now, there's one called Silent Storm and another called Hunt for the Golden Book. And those are kind of both Santa based or toy shop workshop based and that type of thing. Another one is Mystery of the Ice Cave and that's kind of a wintry ski situation. And the one coming out is um, Missing, uh, the Missing Hollywood Star, I think. And it's about uh, a Hollywood production of a Christmas you know, festival or magic, uh, some Christmas blockbuster movie and the stars, something goes missing and whatnot. Anyway, the advent calendar, you open a door each day and you have a new riddle or a puzzle. And I think Rod and I would just love that. And I want to put that here and I already have advent calendar here. So maybe I will write, I think I'm really looking at the new one coming out, missing Hollywood star. So I'm just going to write that here. And I think it sounds fun. So that would be something to do every day as we count down to Christmas. So I'm just using all kinds of pens here. Let me just kind of go like that. <laughs> so there we have that. Okay, so the missing Hollywood star sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, next I want to fill this one out up here. And what I want to do is do cards so let me write that in the box so this one will be for christmas cards I like to use two different pens sometimes because it's just you know it's just fun holiday cards are fun we hit and miss when we do them each year i haven't done I don't think we did them last year, so I'd like to do them this year. Let me go see if I can find something to help decorate, and then I'm going to put something probably as a list down here. Okay, so in here, in the same book, I have things all over the place. We have a circle that says mail holiday cards. So let's not overcomplicate the matter. Let's just put that in here. And I think I'll put it right in this area here. So that it's touching. That looks like fun. And I want to put down the things that I would need to take care of ahead of time. So let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to make some little check boxes here. So I want to pull together addresses and get some cute stamps and I think maybe you take a photo that would be fun so if I want to do that in order ahead of time I can there's also a family photo look there's also an order holiday cards let's just make a let's make a whole cluster of circles so family photo put this right here Rod I could take fun photo and then let's put order holiday cards make that not touch there we go and then it's just kind of going off that's fun okay so order holiday cards family photo mail holiday cards it's probably should go in the opposite order but you know that's okay holiday cards love sending them and I also love receiving them too okay there fixed it let's stop messing with that <laughs> okay let's go down to our next one here and this one I want to do holiday pajamas holiday pajamas are fun great tradition somebody needs to take care of it and get those holiday pajamas right so let's um, let's see how we're gonna decorate it before we write that one in okay I found this sticker here and doesn't that look like pajamas look at that Okay, we're gonna use this to decorate this box for our ma matching pajamas. So holiday pajamas are super fun. I'm gonna put it right up over here. And it's nice to match, right? It's nice to match. That looks cozy. Let's fix this edge, there we go. Okay, so let's write that in there.
Okay, let's see if we can put a little something else in here. Magic pajamas are so much fun. Fun for the tree, taking pictures, and all that good stuff. We have in here some of these little cups, and I think this would be really cute of Coco because you're wearing matching pajamas and you're probably, you know, enjoying your Coco. Let me trim off the bottom of this and try to get some of the white off of here. You know, the sticker part so that it sits nice. Okay, so I trimmed these down a bit so that they would fit in here a little better. I just trimmed the bottoms off. This one I'm gonna have to still move down a bit to fit around everything. And then this one, I think we can put right on top. Maybe kind of like so. Okay. Okay, that looks really cute. Let's let's leave that like that and move on. So over here, I want to do something about my memory keeping. I'm really into December Daily. It's an Allie Edwards thing. And I found a sticker in here. It says, Making Sweet Memories. It's one whole sticker. And I'm cutting this in half. So I have now the two pieces. So I'm going to put this piece over here. And this says, Making Sweet Memories. And this Allie Edwards scrapbooking and December Daily definitely is becoming a tradition because it's just really fun. I think I want to move this in a bit so I have room for this other box. So I'm going to set this kind of in here. Making sweet memories is perfect. And this black kind of, I was planning kind of ahead a little bit with the black. We'll fit, we'll pull that through here. And let's go ahead and write this in. So her product comes out like in August. So it's coming up. Really exciting. So let me write this in. Super, super fun, a lot of holiday fun things. So I want to write down when the release is. So let's see. Let's do this. Then I can write those in. Yes, super fun. I am loving it. I'm actually putting together my December daily album now. I think I shared it in a recent video. Here's my album, it's right here on my desk. Oh, see, look, look at the Santas. See my cup here that has my cinnamon sugar coffee, which is delicious, is the same pattern. Look at these Santas. And I've been putting pages together. This is my beginning, I haven't done anything with that yet. But uh, yeah, look at all the product you get, it's really fun. This is uh, the first story in here, and it's about the tradition of the Christmas pickle. And this is Jacob, because he was like, uh, I've never heard of this tradition. And I'm like, we had this tradition since you were a child. <laughs> so it was just a really fun story. Okay, so as I finish that, maybe I can come back on and share some. If you like, let me know down below. Are you doing any scrapbooking? Do you know of December Daily? Is that something you do? Yeah, I really want to finish this one so that when the product comes again, I can justify getting it for this next year. So again, a holiday tradition that we want to be up on. Okay, the last one, this is a holiday tradition that I've had since I was a child, and it is all about Christmas crackers. And we open those during uh, our Christmas meal. So usually it'll be here. I'm gonna put this penguin. This was from this sheet, I'm sorry. The season of fun, it's his buddy. We're gonna put this right down here because he's adorable. Christmas crackers are those deals that you get that you break open and sometimes they pop lately they're making them without the pop but inside you'll have the paper crown hat which is my favorite you'll have a little toy which is sometimes like a little puzzle and a joke which you can sit around the table and tell and read your jokes and it's super fun and I love them and I think they're an English thing which again rooted with my grandmother and I absolutely love Christmas crackers so I want to decorate this. Well, let me write Christmas crackers because we just need to. Christmas crackers. Oh my gosh, they're so much fun. They're colorful. It's fun to put um, at the table by the place, by the plates because they're very decorative. And I've looked through all of these books. I can't find anything with Christmas crackers, but 
on this sheet, these are candies, but you know what? They look like Christmas crackers. This is exactly what a Christmas cracker looks like. So we're gonna use these on here and I'm gonna put them down here kind of by it because these penguins, you know, are having a great good time. Let's do the red and the green. I think that will really match with what we have going here. So yeah, look at the, how much fun he's having with his Christmas crackers. Okay, this is super cute. Let me put one more thing because I wanna make sure that we know you know, when we get these things. And I'm looking at these sheets. Yes, I wanna use this sheet here because I wanna use these banners. So let's pull some of these off. So let's get one of the pink ones. So inside is some of the little holly, so that will blend. And I'll put this right here to note, here's one. We have our advent calendars. Yes, we wanna get an advent calendar and we're really looking at this one. I'll put a link down below to Amazon. It won't necessarily have this one. You have to actually go to their, their website to see, but um, pretty soon they will because I think this comes out sometime in August or something like that. Let's uh, put one for our Christmas cards. So let's do a red one right here. Let's go right here on this side. And I do want to do the Christmas cards. I think it would be fun doing a photo with them too. That would be a lot of fun. And oh, let's start put pajamas. Let's put some green in this area. So let's get this green one. And we'll just kind of set it right here. So this can kind of be my check off for it. Matching pajamas. Yeah, super fun. I think we had buffalo plaid last year, which we all still wear. <laughs> we'll see what we do this year. And let's do a red for my December daily. I am so excited because she makes a huge production when all of this comes out, Allie Edwards does, because sometimes starting in August, there's gonna be sneak peeks and all that kind of thing before it actually releases. So that's super fun. Super, super fun. You know, you love all the holiday stuff, right? And then let's put a pink one right here. Okay, there's that. And I think we can do a few other things. Let's take a piece of this holly. And well, let's, here, let's put it right here with this because this could use a little, a little extra decor with the Christmas crackers. Okay, that's cool. Let's put another one of these um, do you want to put one right here to kind of pull that up in there? I also have some of these. That's why I have this page open. When I think of holiday magic, I think of things like these little sprinkles, which I can't get off of here. Like this, and I kind of just want to fly that in places. There's three of them on this sheet. Let's do this. Let's put one over in here. And one kind of over in here. I know, let's take some of these little ones off of here. That's what we can do. Let's take this little one and put it after the word magic. Okay, that works. I'm thinking this one's too big. It feels too big. Let's pull this little one, the single one, and just put it kind of right on it here. There's another one here. I kind of need something over in here. Let's go like that. Kind of pulls it up a little bit. So there's little ones and big ones. Let's put this little one kind of right up at the top here to start that. Okay, I think we're getting crazy. I think this is actually full enough. I'm really excited about this. I'm looking ahead, uh, planning ahead for these advent calendars is really fun. Let's get the planner and put her in. Okay, so here is my planner here. Here's the yesterday's page for our cookie page. It's super fun. And today we have our holiday magic with the traditions and all of the great things we can do. We've got our holiday cards we want to get prepared for. We have an advent calendar that I'm really excited that I want to get prepared for. Looking ahead at getting some holiday pajamas for both Rod and myself. Some Christmas crackers, which is always fun. And my 
Allie Edwards December daily making sweet memories my scrapbooking stuff I made a quick change as I was doing this I added the candy cane instead because I think I don't know I like that candy cane I used a lot of stickers from the Mary and Bright book from Happy Planner that's where I got a lot of these extra stickers so that was really fun and I used the stickers tis the season from my Etsy shop which on my Etsy shop we are running a sale 20% off everything in the Christmas category so you don't want to miss that what holiday tradition do you look forward to doing and what could you be planning ahead now to make things easier as it gets into November and December let me know down below I would love to hear from you thank you all so much for joining me I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video bye